Hence, we begin part 2 of 17.3. Okay, so basically it is this. Uh, what we did just now is we found the two areas separately. But mathematically speaking, what you can do is you can actually do the uh, subtraction first before uh, you integrate. So what do I mean? So if you look right uh, over the example on the left here, what happens here is the curve, okay, which is uh, represented by this function g, is above the line the function x. So what you can actually do is you integrate from uh, a to b. You take, right, the curve is on top. That's why you take a uh, function g minus function x with respect to x. So you do the subtraction first before you integrate and it works out. But be very careful of the order. What do I mean? For example, in the example on the right, who is the one that is above the other? So in this case, the line is above the curve itself. So in this case, what we should do is we will take, right, we'll integrate. You take the uh, function g, which is the line that lies above the uh, curve itself, minus the function f, which is the curve with respect to, you integrate with respect to x from the limits of uh, a to b itself. So before you apply this method, just be very, very clear uh, which is the uh, function that is above the other. So that function must come first before you subtract the other function. Okay, never mind. I'll just repeat this uh, concept later again. So for example, example 14, first and foremost, if we think about it, which is the function that is above? Okay, is it the curve? Or is it the line? So quite clearly in this case, the curve lies above the curve, lies above the line. Okay, so uh, what we need to do is to take the curve minus away the line. But before we do that, we need to know these two coordinates, okay, the x coordinates at the very least. So what I'll do here is first, I will solve simultaneously. So y equals to 9 minus x squared, equation 1 y equals to 7 minus x, equation 2. Then I will take equation 1 equals to equation 2. Then uh, what we have here is this. Simplifying will yield this. Factorizing will give me this. So x equals to negative 1 or x equals to 2. So if I just drop this down, this is negative 1. This is 2. Okay, just remember what we have discussed just now, which is the function that's above. So in this case, what I'm going to integrate between the limits of negative 1 to 2 is the curve lies above the line. So I'll take is the curve 9 minus x squared minus away the line. Okay, and I integrate this uh, product, okay, so to speak, uh, with respect to x. Then, just carry on first. So, uh, 9 minus 7 is 2, then negative x squared plus x with respect to x. So, you notice instead of like integrating them separately, you can actually subtract first and then start to do the integration. So, now, if I've done this correctly, I will start to do uh, integration here. 2 integrated will give you 2x. x squared gives you negative 1 third x cubed plus uh, x will give me a uh, half x squared and the limits are 2 and negative 1. Same thing, you just substitute it in. Okay, so it's 2 times 2 is uh, 4. Okay, minus 1 third times 2 cubed plus half times 2 square minus away 2 times negative 1 minus 1 third negative 1 cubed plus half negative 1 squared. Okay, just substituting in the values of 2 and negative 1. Use your calculator. Calculator will give you the answer of 4.5 units square. Okay, and that is it for example 14. Your turn. Please pause the video and try uh, 14 now. Okay, for this one, first what we did was uh, we actually uh, equated these two equations. So we solved simultaneously to get x equals to negative 2 or x equals to 1. So uh, what happens here is this is negative 2 and this is 1 itself. Then the next question we ask, 
uh, which function is the one that is above which is below so quite clearly in this case the line is above the curve itself so we need to take right um, the function of the line minus away the curve and then we integrate uh, from negative 2 to 1 so what we get is the line is 2 minus x minus away the function of the curve is negative x squared which is shown over here and i'm integrating that between 1 and negative 2 you sub in all the values into your integration what you should get is four and a half unit square okay now example 15 is slightly trickier why is it slightly trickier because now we're dealing with uh, negative areas so uh one way is just to do it the normal way then you just uh, find the area bounded by the curve and the x-axis then you make the area positive then uh, similarly you take the area uh, you find the area bounded by the line and the x-axis okay then you minus away the two areas uh, to get away the uh, what i call area bounded by the line and the curve itself okay so um actually why don't i just do this a uh, bit by bit so that it doesn't uh what i call uh get you confused itself so now what i'll do is i'll uh, first i will solve okay so that i can get the x coordinate of this point itself so x square minus four equals to half x minus one Okay, I'm equating those two. So I get x square minus half x minus 3. Then multiplying by 2. Factorizing. x equals to negative uh, 3 over 2. Or x equals to 2 itself. Then, uh, okay... Uh, what we can get right is the next part here is 1.5 and 2 so no need to find the y coordinates actually so here this point here x equals to 2 this point here the x value is negative 3 over 2 as we have found earlier now what we're going to do here is this i'm going to integrate um, x square minus 4 with respect to x limits are 2 negative 3 over 2 so i get 1 third x cubed minus 4x limits to negative 3 over 2 so if you sub in all the values there what you get is 10 and 5 over 24 unit square okay please try the substitution here i'm just skipping steps okay next part here is this we need to find the area either you can integrate the line or just find the area of the triangle i think it's a lot simpler so negative 1.5 and 2 so this portion here the base of the triangle itself is 3.5 units now what i need right is uh, this vertical line here so the vertical line occurs when x equals to negative 1.5 i go back to my previous working so when x equals to negative 1.5 i substitute it into uh, y equals to half x minus 1 so it's half x minus 1 so my y value in this case is negative 1.75 so therefore the area of my triangle is equal to half times the base the base is uh, here is 1.5 and 3.5 so the base here is uh sorry 2 so here is 1.5 and 2 so the base here is 3.5 half times base times height is 1.75 so the area of triangle simply yields 3.0625 units square so if you think about it which is the bigger area the bigger area is the area bounded by the curve and the x-axis this one over here so i'll take the bigger area subtract the smaller area what i'm left with or in this case the area of the triangle what i'm left with is the area of shaded region so area shaded region is equals to 10 5 over 24 minus 3.0625 so what i'm left with is 7 and 7 over 48 units square 
Okay, your turn. Okay, why don't you pause the video and try 15 before I will give you an explanation. So once again, just to explain, what you need to do is to find the coordinates, these x coordinates, uh, find the area bounded by the curve and the x-axis, find the area of this triangle here, then you minus away the area bounded by the curve and the x-axis, minus away area of the triangle, what you're left with is area of the shaded region. So, in this case, if you have found, you have found that um, the points of intersection is mm, x is negative 3, x is 2, and uh, y is negative 5. So, um, basically what you have here is negative 3 and 2, uh, sorry, 2 is wrong, uh, negative 3 and 2, Okay, and then this line here itself is when x is uh, 2, okay, y itself is negative 5. So this is 5 units over here. So if you integrate uh, x squared minus 9 from negative 3 to 2, as shown here, okay, uh, what you will get is uh, 33 and 1 third unit square, which is shown here. Then, you'll find the area of the triangle, half times base times height. So, um, the base itself, as we have shown, this is negative 3. And this point here is 2. So, this height here is 5. This height, as we have found earlier, okay, this height here was 5 units. So, area of triangle is half times base, which is 5 times height which is 5 units. So the area of triangle yields 12.5 units square, as shown here. So I take the area bounded by the curve in the x-axis minus the area of the triangle. What I'm left with is 20 and 5 over 6 uh, units square.